has suffered some power outages which have resulted in load shedding being implemented. As the Minister for Communications and Works, with responsibility for the BBI Electricity Corporation, BBI-EC, I find it necessary to report at this time on the issues which have led to the recent disruption of the territory's power supply. I will also outline the Corporation's plan of action to improve electricity generation and the reliability of supply in the Virgin Islands. General Manager of the BVIEC, Mr. Leroy Abram, has reported that we have had failures to generators units number six, number eight, and number nine at different times. And the corporation has developed a plan of action to repair these units and bring them back online as soon as possible. The damage suffered to unit nine was most severe and this unit will require a complete rebuild, which will take several months before it can be brought back online. The damage suffered to unit number six was less. The repairs to this unit are underway, which should result in a unit being returned to service within eight weeks or so. I am pleased to advise that at this time, unit eight was successfully returned to service on Wednesday, 20th August, following repairs. The installed generation capacity of the BVI Electricity Corporation is 39 megawatts. With two of the largest units, totaling 11 megawatts out of service, the corporation has been unable to meet peak demand of approximately 30.5 megawatts. With Unit 8 back in service, the BVI EC now has approximately 33 megawatts of generating capacity to supply a peak demand of 30.5 megawatts. Ladies and gentlemen, I must make you aware that there is an urgent need for additional generating capacity to be installed. As you may know, the BVIEC on May 28, 2014, opened tenders for its Phase 5 development program, which is the capital requirements for the much needed upgrades to the territory's electrical infrastructure. Since the opening of the tenders, the board and management of BVI-EC, along with their consultants, have been evaluating these tenders and holding discussions with the potential contractors to ensure that the territory obtains value for money from this very important project. Additionally, as a I have previously mentioned the BVIEC is simultaneously conducting its due diligence process with regard to considering propane or LPG fire generators for this next expansion, which should translate to lower electricity costs for all residents of this territory. I am expecting that in the not too distant future, the BVI Electricity Corporation will be sending its recommendations to the government with regards to its phase five development program. I must thank the public for your patience and understanding. I would also like to commend the board, general manager and staff of the BVI Electricity Corporation for an excellent job in keeping the territory energized. I further crave the patience of you, the members of the public, as we work to eliminate or minimize these issues as it relates to electricity in the Virgin Islands. Thank you, and may God bless these beautiful Virgin Islands. Mm -hmm.